50 years, Gulfstream Media has been delivering award-winning content right here in South Florida. Glossy high-end magazine spotlighting local trends, fashion, interior design, and so much more. Joining me this morning is Mark Corbett, associate publisher of Gold Coast Magazine, and Alyssa Morlacki, managing editor of Gold Coast Magazine. Welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. 50 years. That's fantastic. Wow. What a wonderful goal to get to. Thank you so much. And I heard there was a huge gala. There absolutely All right, was. how much fun was it? <laughs> it was mind-blowing. It was yeah. mind-blowing. We had uh, the who's who of Fort Lauderdale came out. Of course. And, uh, of course, Bernie McCormick, our, our founder, was there in all his glory. And with his connections and the people that he has worked with through the years, uh, it just made it a party of, well, for us, the party of the century. All right, you mentioned Bernie McCormick. Yes. I know that's a big name. Take me back in time. I think it all started, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, in 65? 65. It was a great time in South Florida. It was the time when South Florida was really growing up and starting to boom. It was uh, taking it from that, uh, you know, tropical paradise mm. to a place to live, a yes. true destination. So all of the things that we enjoy today, we're just beginning, you know, Parker Playhouse and, and the schools and Nova and, and, and Carl Springs at the time was a place where celebrities would come down and invest money. Johnny Carson came down and Ed McMahon, they invested money. So it was a very different climate, a very, very different landscape at the time but it built what we have today, and it was a very exciting time. Bernie McCormick actually was working with uh, Philadelphia Magazine as a, as a star editor, and he saw a vision, and uh, he heard about this Gold Coast uh, magazine that was getting started, and he said he wanted in. So he came down to Florida, didn't know much more about Florida other than the Mai Kai. Oh. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it just, it, it, it built, it grew, and with his connections and with what had already been started, uh, Bernie just took it to multiple, multiple levels. I love it. And I love looking at these man. old magazines. I mean, look at this. This is fantastic. This is some of the beginning ones, right? There's yes. Burt Reynolds. Yes. You've got JFK. I mean, look how old these look. These are staples. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Right, yeah. Alyssa? Yeah. We, we love looking through those and looking at the old advertisers, which are still with us today. Carol's wow. Jewelers, mm -hmm. Moss and Hoffman, people on Las Olas Boulevard that were around 50 years ago are still with us today. Mm -hmm. That's and fantastic. That's, that's really cool. Now, let's talk about today. Look at this fast, yeah. fantastic magazine. Tell me a little bit about it. I know it's very uh, trendy. It's local. Yeah. And that's what people like about it. So it's crazy to think that we went from there to this glossy magazine. Um, we cover everything in there from fashion to beauty and travel. We also do a lot of regional stuff. So a new restaurant that's in town or um, mm -hmm. boutiques that have just opened on Las Olas or, um, you know, all of that. So it's great because, you know, you really just localize it to your area. And not only did you just do it with Gold Coast Magazine, I mean, there are six behind you. You got Gold Coast, Fort Lauderdale, Boca Life, Jupiter, the Palm Beach or Stewart Magazine. You just kept growing, Mark. Absolutely, yes. Tell me about those there. Well, we, we had to expand the market to for advertiser reach, basically, because uh, today there are many regional advertisers that want to reach from Fort Lauderdale up to Stewart. So we built a publication. Uh, we do have some common stories that run throughout that are, are applicable to all markets. Uh, that's, how we, that's how we do it. So we really flood the market. We have 86,000 magazines every month, just in our lifestyle brand mm -hmm. that goes up the east coast of Florida. And it hasn't stopped there. I, uh, no. Rumor has it, I think you <laughs> launched a new magazine? We did, yeah. Uh, another, who says magazines are a thing of the past? It, they are not. I love yeah. them. So tell me about the new one. It just launched? It did, yes, in January. We we had our first issue, Florida Home and Garden. It's one of the topics that people still love to read in a paper magazine. It's not so much your Pinterest DIY, it's more aspirational. You're gonna need a team to pull off the kind of stuff that we are covering. So it's so, really nice stuff, right, yeah, Mark? Yeah, Tell me a little bit about it, too. Well, it's top, the, the content is, is top quality. I mean, we have, we have won multiple awards. Uh, for journalism, for art, for just magazines. I mean, we have a, a, a trophy wall uh, in our offices, and uh, we're out there doing it. All right, Alyssa, for our viewers who'd like more information on all these fabulous magazines and, of course, the launch of the new one, Florida Home and Garden, where do they go? You can go to FortLauderdaleDaily.com. FortLauderdaleDaily.com. Thank you so much. Continued success. Thank you so much. And do I get an invite to the next gala? Absolutely. All right, thank you so much. And for more information, you can go to our website, and that's TheBalancingAct.com.